What is going on guys? It is Thrust Crucible and I have another video for you today on Advanced Warfare. This is going to be a recovery domination match with the Morse. Uh, I think I have the golden camo on here, but um, a few things are, there's, uh, mainly this video is going to be my sniping impressions, first impressions of this game. Uh, now that the game's been out for a few days and I've been able to snipe a little bit. Um, one thing I'm going to say is this is, I did get this gameplay the first day that I had the game, so I might jump off the map on accident a few times, like right here. <laughs> uh, so I was still learning the maps, still kind of learning the maps, but, um, you know, I got the bases of them down. So, uh, one thing I want to talk about is, um, sni like, sniping in this game, like, the mechanics, uh, I feel are a lot like Black Ops 1. Um, the scope and time... Is I think it's a little slower. May I think it feels a little slower than the the L96. I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe it's just the way it looks when it scopes in. It feels a little slower. Um, but um, the the initial sway that's definitely something to think about. Um, so pre patch Black Ops One, there was a lot of initial sway. Um, and that's how I feel it is with this game. I'm not quite sure. Um, because, you know, pre-patch Black Ops 1 was a very long time ago. I can't really remember if it's, like, it feels about the same. Maybe a little less sway. Um, I'm not quite sure. I can't really remember. But there is definitely initial sway in this game, which makes, especially long-range shots, it makes them very difficult. Um, especially when you're using the variable zoom on the first zoom, which is what I use, um, even though this is the reg scope. So... The initial sway, like, especially on the first zoom, you have such a, like, on, on uh, for long range shots, you have such a small target, and to get your, your, um, your, like, to, to scope in, hold your breath, and get your sights on target, and, uh, like, just before you shoot, you know, like, to get it ready to shoot somebody from a very far distance, they can outgun you with an assault rifle, like, so much faster than you can get ready to shoot them. Um... Now that, like, basically in this game, I, I love the fact that you are outclassed by pretty much every gun. Like, every type of gun is better than the sniper rifles in a way. Um, then, like, then it all comes down to your skill to be able to outplay these people. Which is why I love this game and it's so much of a, it's so much of a challenge and that's why I really love this game. Just like I loved Black Ops 1. Um... I th I'd say the snipers on this game, though, are a little bit more outclassed than they were on Black Ops 1. Um, just because, you know, Black Ops 1, it was, a little, um, it was a little easier because you had perks like Steady Aim Pro where you can pull up your gun a little faster after sprinting. Um, just, you know, just, just a bunch of stuff like that. Um, and also, your sensitivity while scoped in isn't as low as it is on Advanced Warfare. So, like... When you're scope when you're not scoped in, obviously you can move around normally, like you can turn around normally. But when you're scoped in, obviously you couldn't, um, you you're not able to um, move your scope around as quick as you could, like move around um, when you're not scoped in. But e like that's how it is in all Call of Duties. But this game, um, when you're scoped in, it's still it's slower than at every other Call of Duty. Um, so like when you're scoped in, the sensitivity is slower while scoped in. Um, which is why I had missed a lot of shots before. Um, actually, I'm like when when I first started playing, I was missing a lot of shots, and I was I just couldn't figure it out. Um, couldn't figure out why. And then, um, so I think it was like yesterday. Like the developers, I think had said this before, and people had talked about it. Um, but. The sniping, like, since it's like that, since the, the sensitivity is, um, sensitivity, sensitivity is slower when scoped in, um, like, I hadn't paid attention to that, and I was thinking, like, I couldn't figure out why, and then I finally realized that's why I couldn't hit my shots, because, you know, I, I play on the exact same sensitivity as Black Ops 1, um, like, like, uh, I play on 16 on Advanced Warfare, which is the same as 8 on Black Ops 1, um, and I'm so, I was so used to, like, dragging a certain amount on the sensitivity to hit people on black ops one that because the sensitivity in your scope is slower on this game um i ended up shooting early because i'm i was so used to getting to this point like 
like I wouldn't really pay attention to my screen. I would just, it would it was just like all muscle movement, like um like muscle memory. You know, like you you scope in, you drag to a certain like you drag your scope a certain amount with your thumb and then you just shoot because you know, you're so used to that um you know, having to drag that much with the muscle memory um that it just becomes a habit to shoot like basically at the exact same time every time after scoping in like you drag a certain amount and you shoot um no matter how much you uh, how much you dragged over um i'm not really sure if that makes any sense to you guys but it it does in my mind <laughs> so um yeah so i i definitely like really enjoy this game um it's challenge which i love and um yeah i just i really enjoy this game it's a lot of fun the kills are a lot more rewarding than especially in black ops 2 because like this game <laughs> it's so much more difficult to snipe people um and be accurate so it feels so much more rewarding to get the kills and um so yeah i'm gonna talk about the snipers a little bit basically i've the only usable snipers so far are the morse and the atlas um, there's the Lynx and I think the NA45 or whatever that one is, the, the two shot, the, the two bullet gun. Um, so basically a lot of people don't want to use the Lynx because it's a two shot weapon. It's a two shot kill gun. And, you know, you, I'm thinking that, you know, there's probably a, another version of it with the supply drops that has increased damage to make it a one shot. Um, and I really hope that is true because... Uh, it would add some more, it would add another gun um, that can be used, so that's more variety for snipers. Um, but overall, this game is really good. Um, there are a few things, and I think it's mainly uh, lower gen consoles like PS3 and Xbox, that or Xbox 360 that have it. I'm not exactly sure if Xbox 360 has these problems because I don't have an Xbox, but I definitely know PS3 has a few problems where like, uh, like it'll frame freeze or something like that. Uh, I'll, I'll make a video on some of the problems for like Sunday or something. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, give it a comment. How are you liking Advanced Warfare so far? Um, do you like sniping on it? Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you guys later.